Okay, so what's up guys? I'm Pixel Sammy and in this particular video, we are going to show this particular transition. So this is a very seamless transition and I'm sure many of you have noticed it in Sam Golder's latest video. And nevertheless, that video is really awesome. The link is in the description, you guys can definitely check it out. So this particular tutorial, we are going to show the separating file capture only. But if you guys want it for Premiere Pro, drop a comment down below then I will make one too. So it is pretty simple to make but I am using sand colder's footages because I don't have any similar footage as of now. So let's go. And with that being said, if you guys like this video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel and let's get started. So here we are in Final Cut Pro and this is the footage. I have just trimmed down Sam Colder's footages as you can see the transition isn't there. And this is where the transition is. As you can see, it is a little bit of masking and a little bit of keyframing right there. So what you guys need to do is to add in mask and keyframes. So let's do this. Let's just simply add some masking and all. So maybe right around here, I'm going to just cut the clip and grab the second one right below that cutted portion. Then go to the FS panel, type in mask. Drag the draw mask onto the clip Now make a rough mask in such a way as if it is very random now make a very random masking make sure it looks very random like it is not a geometrical rectangle or a circle or a square make sure it is very random and make sure the curves are also there and then you can make the curves by actually holding command and then editing those points try to make a random masking just like this but make sure it covers the entire frame all right now set a keyframe to the control point and to the position then what you guys need to do is you need to go frame by frame and keep on editing this mask as if it is going on the upper direction so go to the next frame just let me just edit this mask in a little bit more so that it looks a little bit more random and then go frame by frame and keep on moving this on the upper direction just like this go to the next frame move it to the upper direction Go to the next frame, move it to the upper direction again. Go to the next frame and so on in such a way that it covers the entire clip. In such a way that the original clip is totally masked out. And as you can see this is how the masking looks and it looks really really bad. Now what you guys need to do is as it looks really really bad, try to add some feather just like this. Now it looks a little bit better right? So try to add some feather and add some fall off as well and that should do it that should basically do the main job now what you guys need to do is as you can see the hands of the first clip and the second clip are not in sync right for example the first clip the hand is on the lower hand side of the frame while on the second clip the hand is on the upper hand side so what you guys need to do is you need to just keyframe the second clip in such a way that at the starting of the masking the second clip is at a lower position so go to the first frame of the second clip set a keyframe to the position and then drag the y point on the lower hand side just like this now go to the next frame update the y point a little bit more update the y point a little bit more again and keep on updating this and then in the last frame make sure the Y point comes to its original position so that is pretty much it as you can see it looks a little bit more seamless and a little bit more dynamic and that is what you guys need in this particular transition and I'm sure if the bubbles were there in this transition like it was there in the original transition then it will look much more better but as I have trimmed down that original portion so the bubbles are not there but if the bubbles are there in your footages, it will look much, much more better. So this is how you made the job. This is how you get this particular transition. And it's a pretty simple transition. And that is pretty much it. Subscribe down below and tell me what you guys think of it. And with that being said, this is Pixel7 signing out.